Yo, in this video, I'll show one way to install MS-DOS 6.22 on your computer using only a pen drive. Now, before getting into it, I want to give a disclaimer. DOS needs a specific kind of partition for installation. And you can learn more about, you know, uh, DOS specific partitions uh, from this uh, web page. So this is a pretty nice starting point. It's a good resource to learn more about this kind of stuff. But the point is, for this video, I'm assuming that the hard drive to which you want to install DOS is blank, unless your experience with creating, editing and resizing partitions. Do not try to do this with your main hard drive, you know, the one that you normally use and has your important data. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's see what all files and programs we need. I've left links for these in the description, but if you can't, you know, if some of the links don't work, just search online uh, for these and you should find alternative download locations easily. So we will need the uh, MS-DOS 6.22 installation floppy images. Okay, so these uh, these can be downloaded from WinWorld. Then you'll need an emulator called 86box along with its ROMs, uh, ROM set. You'll need 7-zip, a program called DOSWR, roofers to make the pen drive bootable and another program called xf disk uh, this will also come in useful later okay so the first step is to get dos system files so you can see what those are here you will need to copy them over to the hard drive where you want to install dos so the first part of this video focuses on how to get these system files we'll start 86 box Go to tools, settings, and we'll configure this. You can just replicate these settings, uh, whatever I'm doing here. So just select super socket, this motherboard. Memory you can set as 256, that's decent. Uh, select a voodoo card here, whatever. Here we will make a new uh, virtual hard disk. Uh, I think you can just select a fixed size and keep the size as, um, you know, whatever. Like, I think 65 MB should be safe. Okay, so you can see here uh, the virtual hard disk image has been created. Also, you need a way for the virtual machine to read from these floppy images. So you'll add a virtual floppy drive. Select 3.5 inch, 1.4 uh, megabyte. This you can set as none. Select OK. Save. Now, first thing we'll do is insert the first uh, floppy disk image for DOS setup. Okay, just note uh, in order to in order to uh, insert any floppy image, just right click on this little floppy icon and uh, select existing image and you can switch over to whatever, uh, you know, floppy image that you want. So that's the process. The setup is pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so this will just start the whole uh, setup process. Yeah, I'll, I'll fast forward through the whole process. It's like I said, it's very self-explanatory. It will just ask you in between to switch the floppies. So you can just, you know, right click here, select existing image and switch over. Okay, so the installation is complete. Let's just eject this floppy image, restart. Press enter and let's see if uh, DOS has installed properly on this virtual machine. All right, great. So this is done. You can close the virtual machine now. Now this uh, virtual hard disk image should have all the DOS system files that we need. So we'll just extract them using 7-zip 
uh, go here right click on a.vhd open inside these are all the files that you need you can create a new folder here uh, I'll just call it DOS files extract all of these here this I think you can ignore uh, I don't know what this is for okay close 7-zip now we will create the bootable pen drive so just insert the USB disk into the computer and start Rufus okay and the boot selection select from here MS-DOS now notice that I, I, this option I believe was not present in the earlier versions of Rufus so make sure you have this at least 4.6 uh, Rufus 4.6 press start oh yeah and make sure uh, this device is properly selected right just uh, your pen drive basically uh, it will tell you there's a download required just press yes here Click OK. All right. So this is done. Now we'll just copy over this DOS files folder, DOS Word program, and XF disk. These three things we will copy over to the pen drive. Paste it here. Next, go to autoexec.bat, right click, click edit, and here type out crossword v06.22. Save this. And there we go, we have uh, created our bootable pen drive, and this is sufficient to install DOS to whatever computer, uh, you know, your retro PC. All right, we have started up the PC where we want to install DOS. Let's boot off of the pen drive first. As you can see, we had configured DOS work to run via the autoexec.bat file. This is because we want to run some native DOS 6.22 programs like Format and FDisk during the procedure. DOS Word tricks those programs into thinking that DOS 6.22 is running, which is required for these programs to work. So let's run FDisk first. And this is needed to create a primary DOS partition on your hard drive. FDisk will detect two hard drives. One is your pen drive and the other is your PC's hard disk. So make sure you select the PC hard disk drive by choosing 5 from the menu here. If you have more than one hard disk, then you'll see more listed here. Just be careful in selecting the correct hard disk. Here we'll select number 2 and proceed. And next we will create a primary DOS partition on, on this hard drive. So just select 1. 1 again. Yes, uh, and yeah, primary DOS partition created, and we can press escape, escape again. Finally, press any key to restart. So once again, we will boot off of the pen drive, and this time we will run XF disk, which we had placed in the root of the pen drive. Now. XF disk is required to make that primary DOS partition active, which is again required for your system to be able to boot off of it. So there we go. As with F disk, XF disk will detect multiple hard disk drives. So just press tab to switch to the correct one. There we go. Now Notice that the drive letter corresponding to the DOS partition we had just created. In our case, it is D, <clears throat> so we'll keep that in mind. 
Now to make this active, just press enter, hide partition, then press enter again, show partition, and you can see the status is now active. All right, so let's just press F3 to quit. Select yes here, yes again. Next, we want to format this DOS partition. And before that, you need to run the lock command. So let's just navigate to DOS file, DOS. And now we will type lock D, okay? Since D is the drive letter of the DOS partition. Select yes here. And now we will run format D. Select yes here again. We will wait for this to complete. Uh, for the volume label, we can just type whatever. And now the, the DOS partition has been formatted, ready to go. We'll use xcopy to copy the DOS system files from the pen drive to the DOS partition. So just use this command. All right, so all the system files have been copied. And now as a final step, we will use the sys command to transfer the system to the DOS partition and ensure that the PC can start DOS from it. So let's just remove the pen drive and reboot. And let's see what happens. And there we go. We have successfully installed MS-DOS 6.22 on the PC using only a pen drive. I hope this was informative. Let me know in the comments if you had any luck with this method. And yeah, have an awesome day.